So quadratic funding is basically a way of running a crowdfunding campaign uh, that's as, as democratic as, as possible. So basically the key idea with quadratic funding is that you set out a matching pool and um, you allow people to, to sign up for a crowdfunding campaign. And when they contribute to that crowdfunding campaign, then their contributions are matched by funds from the matching pool. And the cool thing about quadratic funding, and, and this is all credit to Glenn and Vitalik for inventing this, is that the matching is based off of the number of contributors, not the amount that they fund. So, uh, Cami, if you have a grant that raises $100 from 100 contributors, and I have a grant that raises a dollar from uh, $100 from one contributor, then you get 99% of the matching pool. Okay, so we're allocating capital to things that the broadest swath of the Ethereum community care about. And that's really powerful because if you're not a whale, if you're just an everyday person, then it's easy to feel like your vote doesn't really matter. But with quadratic funding, it does. You can give a dollar and the project can get hundreds of dollars, depending on how many other people are contributing to it. So quadratic funding is this really amazing way to take of taking people who are in the outer orbit of your community and giving them a say in, in how things are funded. So that's quadratic funding. It's one of the things that's on Gitcoin's menu during Gitcoin 2.0, but it's not the only thing that's on the menu. Another thing that, uh, that the Ethereum ecosystem has really rallied around over the last 12 months is this thing called retroactive public goods funding. And retroactive public goods funding, the basic idea here is that it's easier to understand if something is a really, is a good public good in retrospect as opposed to in the future. And, and this has been pioneered by Optimism. They've been running retro PGF rounds for the last year and a half, giving out tens of millions of dollars to their community based off of who's building their ecosystems, public goods, consuming block space, creating sequencers, creating liquidity on, on the Optimism L2. And um, basically the way, the way that works is that they have a role in their ecosystem called the badge holder. It's basically just someone who is in the Optimism ecosystem that is able to allocate that capital to people in the ecosystem that have provided public goods in the past. So it's a retroactive public goods funding round. And um, uh, yeah, so Gitcoin now supports both quadratic funding and retroactive public goods funding. And the, the that's sort of our menu of what we can offer to any EVM based community that wants to fund their ecosystems, public goods. Um, and, and then I guess like the third thing that I'll just mention real quick is that we also have a product called direct grants. Say you don't want to do any of this complicated quadratic funding or retroactive public goods funding. You can use Gitcoin grant stack to just do regular grants where you have a centralized grant administrator who is giving out a pool of capital from your ecosystem's treasury to projects in the ecosystem that are building your ecosystem. So you can kind of think of Gitcoin 2.0 as a menu, direct grants or quadratic funding or retroactive public goods funding. Each of those things is good at, at, at doing one thing and doing it well. Direct grants is good because it's simple. Quadratic funding is really good at democratic capital allocation. And then retroactive public goods funding is really good at retroactively allocating capital. 